This is wild. The very first Zelda game, if you want to have the game on the NES, okay, you can really buy up to, the game can be worth up to 5,000 values. And of course, they expect to double its value. If you're like, what? This is one of the best sellers of this, the NES. Okay, I was surprised too. If you have a complete inbox copy of the game, according to PlaySign.com, the game is worth on only eighty-two dollars. Of course, retro games have become pretty expensive. The retro gaming market has become pretty expensive as well, especially for NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis games, and Game Boy games. Even like games that sold millions of copies can be worth thousands of dollars. Okay, yeah. Of course, it has crashed from the the used to prices because there are copies of Mario sixty-four. And like other old Mario games that sold up to a million dollars. You know, if you had the perfect grading, perfect, you know, version of the game. But if you have the game professionally graded, it can be up to $11,000. And the game is boxed and sealed, which means you have never unwrapped the game or unboxed the game. So if people want to do unboxing of the first Zelda, it can be worth as much as 5000 Of course, that's the maximum price that has seen. The sold the sale as high as nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty. Of course, it's because of how expensive, you know, retro gaming is. If you get a professional, a professional, very high graded copy, it can be worth up to tens of thousands of dollars. If you get it for let's say loose copy, it's not that expensive. Thirty one dollars was so basically, you know, the box itself is more valuable. Eighty one dollars because usually. Back in the day, we would throw away the game box. We would just throw it away, which makes the box more valuable. And the game manual will probably affect around twenty dollars, as well. And this is, you know, about the for Zelda. It is pretty interesting how much retro gaming has become more and more and more expensive over the years. I wonder how many more people just emigrate retro games instead of actually just buying them, you know, paying thousands of dollars for them. But there are people who do pay thousands of dollars for these very old games. I wonder what will happen to like games like 360 and PS3 games in the future. It's a and no good said retro gaming in 20 years. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.